Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey ho. What the Goku Black with a minute? Oh, we come out swing. We got Ultra Instant. We got Great Ace. We got Goku Black. We got Super Saiyan Goku. We got Broly. Listen, send that to me. Release me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real gaming is back, boys and girls. This is our first time seeing story mode stuff, too, actually. Looks gorgeous. No matter what it takes, I need to rescue Gohan. Goku, wait! What? Never forgive you for this! Now he will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's gonna be like what if stuff and like different He just went Super Saiyan during during the fight with with Vegeta. Father Trunks? Father's Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Bardock! I see better than Bardock! Son, son, oh no, you gotta show me more. Woohoo! October! There you go, Internet. October 11th, boys and girls, we live! October 11th. We live! Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops. I don't give a fuck about Delta Force. Run that shit, mate! All platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer. Shut up! I know the trailer on Twitter already. I know it's on Twitter already. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Where is it? Where is it? Sparking zero. Run the trailer back. Is it on YouTube already? Let me see. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, you got it? Give me that. Yes, sir. There we go. 28 seconds ago. Run that shit, bike. All right. Let's take another look at this. Because uh, it was a lot going on here. So it, it starts off Ultra Instinct Goku. Okay. That's off the rail. I guess we'll see. This will be when the true battle begins. He looks fucking incredible. Super Saiyan Gogeta versus Super Saiyan Broly. Goku versus Cell. That looks incredible. Goku Black here fighting in West City. Oh, he looks so sick. The aura is so gas. You want to talk about aura? Dragon Ball is the originator of aura. Also, the stage destruction look kind of fine. Oh, lie, boy. West City is like always the coolest stage in every Dragon Ball game, I swear. Also, my shit is like lagging. Why is my shit lagging? Stays look huge too. Grade eight Vegeta out here wrecking shit. Monster boo. Monster Vegeta is so sick. Yeah, so he starts showing us story mode stuff, which, by the way, goat. Um, but they say reclaim new possibilities, so like on some Xenoverse type shit, I guess. But like, yeah, have a work with Piccolo, go it alone. So you're gonna be able to like make decisions. I wonder how much because there are games right that give you the this illusion of choice where it's like, oh, you get to pick an option, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna get to the same point. And I'm wondering how much the options you pick in the story mode are actually gonna affect how the story plays out and if you can get multiple different routes or like endings or whatever like you're probably still going to end up at the same point basically but like how the story plays out can be a little bit different kind of like Budokai 2 because like in Budokai 2 you can kind of do shit that doesn't really line up with how the story actually goes to some degree right and like obviously Xenoverse has a spin on it and Fighters has its own original story and it's funny we were actually just talking about this um just last night, I think, with the homies, I was in Discord, we was chilling, whatever. And I was like, yo, we actually haven't seen anything for like the story mode for the game. And, like, it's kind of going to be cool to just go back through the classic story of Dragon Ball because we haven't really done that in a long time outside of Kakarot, which I 
don't think Kakarot's a great game. I didn't enjoy it, so I didn't really count it. But like, you think about like since Dragon Ball Fighters, Universe Two, Universe One, it's been a while since we actually just went through the story again the way that we used to in the old Budokai Tenkaichi games. And now we're doing that, but with a little bit of a slight twist because now there's options. And then also, as we see here in just a moment, we see Goku go Super Saiyan while fighting Grade Eight Vegeta. Yeah, that. Hey man, say man. And then Vegeta and Trunks with the beam clash against Cell. I don't know what you got to do, what option you got to pick for this to happen in the story, but whatever it is, this is the route I'm going. This, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I've already made up my mind how the Cell saga is playing out for me personally. That's just me. Then UI Goku looks sick. Super Saiyan got Vegeta, Golden Frieza. We got Zamasu and Goku Black. Is that Gohan? That's Gohan. My boy Bardock, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and then the Trio to Dangers. Have we we seen them already, didn't we? I think we did. Gotenks, Gogeta. Broly, Piccolo. You know, trying to see if there's anything new in there. Jiren, old ugly ass, but like an old spicy deodorant. And then that release date, October 11th, 2024. Oh, and I, actually, this is the first time I've seen the cover art too, right? I didn't even really take note of this the first time. I'm not gonna lie, it's okay. It's, wait, is that, that's, um, that's Super Saiyan Blue Evolves Vegeta, which we actually haven't seen yet. And then Rage Trunks, which I don't remember if we've seen yet either. And then that's Frieza with the Halo, Jiren, Full Power Broly. Uh, and then also six characters early unlocked, so they are showing these. Um, so I, I guess that means you also have to unlock characters in the game, which is like, some people don't like having to unlock all the characters. I do. I missed that shift when I was a kid. And then this, a secret playable character that they aren't revealing yet, but it's like lightning and shit. Is that some sort of indicator or, or, or hint or clue as to who that could be? Who, who could that be? Or is that just for the and then premium collector's edition? Am I copping this? I'm probably copping it. Unless Bandai Namco, y'all want to send it to the boy and I could do an unboxing on stream and on YouTube and everything like that. Cause you know, it's going to be a cop for me regardless. And then Wait, hold. This has this is a different cover. Oh, so this is the ultimate edition. So it's like the, the the edition you get has different covers. What does this come with though? All right, so we have the base game, lenticular card, steel book. This diorama is sick. Uh, some Dragon Ball Super cards, some bookmarks, season pass with twenty plus playable characters, and they've already oh whoa 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 look 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 twenty plus playable DLC characters, Dragon Ball Superhero, and Dragon Ball Daima. So that already confirms they're putting Gamma 1, Gamma 2, Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo. Like, obviously, this, there's not, like, proper reveals for them. But, like, that's already confirming that, one, they're not going to be in the base game. But, two, they are showing up as DLC. Cell Max probably as well, since Giants are already confirmed to be in the game. You know, like, like in true cl classic uh, Tenkaichi form. It's a season pass bonus. I don't really know what that means. And then Dragon Ball Daima. So I'm, I don't know if that's just going to be, like, the little kid versions of all the characters that we're seeing in Daima. Obviously, we haven't seen Daima yet, so we don't know what types of new characters and everything are going to be in there. But like that, that new Kai or whatever, or whoever the villain is and shit. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Ultimate upgrade packs was just items and shit, probably for the story mode. Ultimate edition bonus. No clue what that is, but October 11th, pre-order now. Like, I want to pre-order it, but I also want to see if Bandai sent it to the boy. Uh, full game digital only. Deluxe edition gets you to the game three days early, you know what I'm saying? Early access to their DLCs as well. So there's DLC one, two, and three. So wait, there's gonna be 20 plus playable characters in the in the season pass. It's split up into three. So we we gonna be getting like seven characters per drop. That's kind of lit. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Upgrade Pack comes with Goku Super Costume with the Power Pole. Okay, I'll, I'll fuck with that. That's from like uh like the promo for the uh, the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, like like that art and stuff. I like that those colors and that design and stuff. Emo voice set, two player card backgrounds, one customization item. Uh, what else is in here? And this is just the standard edition. Honestly, which cover do I like more, the standard edition or like the the deluxe edition? Low key. I went back way too far. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really have a preference between the two. That's it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm hype. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hype. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna cut this out. Throw this up on YouTube right away. Y'all, let me know how y'all feeling. What y'all thinking? What you what you thought? Oh man, October. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you stay tuned for all the content I bring you. And with all that being said, this is pretty much all I have today. Remember, nothing can happen to you from the bad. Later.